Well, hello, friends. Rick Bray with the Plick Team at Broom Gabosis. And as one does, the more you, you know, get your hands dirty and play with stuff, the more you learn. Uh, and I have learned what I think is a better way to do this little part. Um, when I originally was setting up my booking systems, I created different businesses because I had like two districts that I support. Because the issue was, and, and you'll see, I think later when we get here, we can we can set our time, and that's great. I wasn't sure how to set different times and different days for the different districts. So I built like new uh, calendars, new events. And, and I don't think you have to do that. So don't do that. Uh, instead, what I found is under services, I have condensed my two calendars, if you will, into different services. So like if you're at different buildings or maybe if there's different people on your team, they would each have a different service under this one business. You don't necessarily have to have multiple businesses. You can have multiple services. What do I mean? Well, when you add a service, if I want a new one, this could be new service. And I could put in my description like we saw in other uh, videos. If you had multiple people and you, you know, each wanted to use a different personal meeting room that we've been looking at, you could put the different meeting room here. That, that'd be totally fine. Um, you can set everything up as you want. You can put in the custom fields. That's great. You know, everything could be the same as we saw in a previous video. Where it's going to change is right here. Online scheduling options. The default scheduling policy is what you set down in business information. So I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to adjust this if I want. Time increments, I'm still going to do 30 minutes. Minimum lead, zero. Maximum lead, 365. That's fine. I'm still keeping the uh, this one off for me. Sending an invite to the customer, great. Um, I'm not going to choose staff because it's just me. Uh, but availability, this is where the magic happens. Instead of bookable when staff are free, uh, I am going to go with custom hours and boop here's some options and i could say for example in this building if i was only there monday and wednesday i'm going to check off all the other days other than monday and wednesday and it's going to work within that and if i wanted i could even change the hours so maybe it was like oh uh, i don't know yeah 7 45 to 3 15 wh whatever i wanted to do um but i'm setting custom hours again i assign the staff and then i hit save at the top I'm going to discard all these changes. But that's how, again, instead of having a separate page for Main Enwell and a separate page for Windsor, for me, I have it all going to the same page. And uh, let's go take a look real quick what it ends up looking like. Boop, open the publish page. So it, it breaks it down here as services that they pick which building they're in. And it automatically filters that by the days that I'm going to be there, right? So in this case, uh, Main Enwell Senior High School is Tuesdays and Fridays right now. So that's how we can filter it out. That also lets me ask fewer questions, right? I don't have to ask like what building and what district you're in because that's baked into my services. So I hope that helps. Um, and uh, yeah, awesome. Live and learn, right? All right. Thanks for watching.